Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome your faces to a brand new review video today where we're going to be ta talking about Call of Duty World War 2 which got released on Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC on Friday. Um, so I've played a lot of this game I have, mainly touching, mainly today on this review, multiplayer and the zombies. Um, sadly I haven't got around to playing the campaign but I will talk about a little bit of the campaign, what people said to me um, and what I've caught of it on a twi uh, Twitch streams and stuff like that. Um, but we're going to be mainly covering the multiplayer side of stuff which I mainly always get Call of Duty for um, and kind of give you my review of it and my personal thoughts. Um, so jumping in to the first thing, um, so um, I've played a lot of this multiplayer game um i've played on the game game time i've played over a day already on call of duty i'm prestige one um level 21 on the games so i've already prestige yes i'm one of them sad people i've grinded a lot of hours into this game because that's how good this game is all right this is how good it is um so the first category which i'll move into um is visuals of the game the visuals of the game um so that is covering like frame rate drops and uh textures and the general picture of the game how it looks um Honestly, it's an astounding looking game. It looks absolutely fantastic. It looks great at 30 frames per second for me on the console. Uh, I would like to see what it looks like on PC. I haven't really caught like a PC stream yet. Um, maybe going 1080p and full right, vamped up graphics. I definitely have to check that out at some point. Um, but talking from the PlayStation side of it, it looks absolutely great. The guns look absolutely brilliant um also if you played world at war like i did the mp40 you see on the screen right now it looks a little bit different from from back in the day um it look it has like more uh, beef to it and it looks really nice especially when you're aiming down sights it looks very smooth and i love looking at the mp40 because it's got like a little belt on the end of it sort of things like where you put it over your shoulder sort of thing you see that and i always look at it going man look, the tension to detail is fantastic i really do like that when it comes to the gun um but really i really experienced a lot of um visual problems i haven't with the game um there's one of being one or two things it's kind of like i think it's like when you're in a game um the it's obviously it's probably mainly just like the server problems really um with the visuals kind of like a character might the frames on a character might drop a little bit for me um but other than that it hasn't been an i think it's more being more of like a lag, lag or upload speeds and all that stuff for that person um but that's the only thing i have to say i haven't really experienced no frame drops i've enjoyed every moment of it and it visually is breathtaking to take it, especially this map as well. This is one of the bigger maps on Call of Duty. Um, it's definitely one of the bigger ones and it just looks really nice. Especially like when you go into um, different surroundings, the shadows and everything look absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, the visuals of this game and it's really kind of like, it's nice. It really is. Um, but it's kind of like moving into like, say the music, the voice and the sound. Um, the music, honestly, I totally love the music in this game the music for me um definitely takes me back to world of war it really does um i played that was when i kind of really got my teeth dug into Call of Duty in 2008 i did start playing in 2007 but it was more of the late to 2007 um of cod 4 um but it's kind of like it just reminds me of playing world of war it really does it's like the music the uh the voices going on and it's just like so like fantastic to um Sat, sit there and play and the guns sound beautiful um i have not really found any like problems with voices um i don't hate none of them it's honestly it's so overwhelming to hear all of it going on if anything i normally only play with one headphone normally when i play like games but i've kind of gone to play in two headphones just going oh boy i'm loving the sounds i'm loving just everything just like the for me my favorite thing of it is the um when starting the match and stuff like that it's like uh, right now people blah 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 want put on a brave fight for me or something like that uh, and uh, there's a victory and all that stuff just that kind of general talk um, if you know what i'm talking about is absolutely fantastic i absolutely love it i do reminds me of world of war so much um and so that's hit that hits my when daily was a youngster uh playing call of duty many years ago nine years ago playing world of war and i absolutely loved that game so much loved it so much and this game does remind me of it so much which is good um i was a bit scared honestly when it was coming up to um when i knew stage hammer games are going to be doing this kind of like we're going to be going to war theme I was like, ooh, I'm intrigued to kind of see where I go with it, but slightly scared because obviously Treyarch have done all the war games so far. Um, obviously, Sledgehammer Games have only produced um, Advanced Warfare and they've worked on Model Warfare 3 a little bit because where the um, 
t uh, Infinite, uh, Infinity Ward um, team kind of bro broke up a little bit. So they stepped in to kind of help out and make that game a little bit. Um, and honestly, I was a bit kind of like, okay, I'm intrigued to see what they do with this. But they have done very well for a war game and they um, just, they have not disappointed. I was Obviously, because where they've worked on Advanced, Advanced Warfare... It was kind of like, it was more the space generation or exo generation, I like to call it now. Um, it was kind of like one thing, it was kind of like, um, but they've done very well on doing a World War game. Definitely, definitely have. Uh, but it kind of comes down to the, like, the gameplay. The gameplay itself, um, how it plays on multiplayer, um, definitely plays it very nicely. Um, depending, obviously, what um, game mode you go in, uh, some matches might be a bit quicker, some might be a bit more faster. Um, but the flow of the game, the flow of the game, uh, multiplayer-wise, it's definitely... Um, some match depending on what map you played de definitely it's like this map is definitely and uh, you see now it's very big very open um it's more of a sniping map this is um but definitely it's a bit more fast paced it's a bit more fast paced but a bit not as fast as advanced warfare i would say no uh, yeah advanced warfare is like, which is the last game they made it's a bit more slower down it is um but it's kind of like it's a nice speed to be honest but if you say you got like a load of snipers going on, um, you will. You do die a lot in this game. You do die a lot. Your KD is gonna get hit like hard, especially if you're playing the mode war. Um, you will die a lot. But you just kind of got honestly take it with a pinch of salt and just take in like the audio, um, the music. And all that stuff, the visually, it's, you'll just kind of forget about your depths you do. You do. Um, so I've started kind of get a bit like, kind of like um, I get stressed out with the game. I get stressed, but I've kind of that passion because I want to do well. I want to level up. I want to be good at this game. Um, so it's like a few times if you caught me on stream, um, I have raged out a little bit. And like, I'm going to take two minutes sort of thing and go stand outside and go... <sighs> Ah, scream, scream to the sky. Um, only because I want to do well at the game because it's such a good game. I want to put hours into it and do well and everything like that. And but the gameplay itself has been very enjoyable. I cannot complain about it. And um, it's definitely got to get something to get used to. It took me, it did take me a few hours basically to get used to the speed of the game. The speed of the game, obviously shifting from saying playing Advanced uh, Infinite Warfare. Um, switching into this is kind of like, okay. This is a different kind of things. So it's kind of like when you put on like a new, a new coat. You got to get used to it because it's not what you're used to. So it's it's kind of like you got to get used to it, and you eventually kind of mould into it. But okay, I can get used to this now. Um, so it'll take you a few hours to get used to it. Um, but if you're kind of used to that kind of like just jump into a game, and you're used to just adapting to new situations very quickly, then you'll adapt very quickly. But if you're like me. It did take me a few hours to get adjusted to it, and my K, I did get a lot, a lot of deaths. I did uh, my first few hours, um, but then I've kind of balanced it out now, so I'm starting to do it a little bit more, getting more kills and more less deaths in a way. So, kind of you eventually balance out you do. But overall, the, the gameplay has been absolutely solid. Guns have been fantastic, and I can't ask for any more. Um, but with the online, um, one thing I will say at the moment, one thing which has really affected it this week, this last couple of days, uh, four days precisely, um, is the server problems. This has definitely been the worst Call of Duty launch of a server uh, launch ever um, in the 10 years I've played Call of Duty. Um, I've got Call of Duty every single year on day of release, uh, without a doubt. I've not ever, ever missed a Call of Duty launch. Um, I've always got it on launch and... This is definitely hands down the worst Call of Duty launch ever. I don't know why they've both tweeted out saying why is it why is this problems occurred? Was it because they weren't expecting so many players to be playing it? But there was so much hype around this new Call of Duty. I don't. It doesn't really make sense to me what they should have like really predicted for this. Um, but the servers like been crashing out. So it's like for me, so I've been playing with a group of three or four people. Just one one of my friends will get kicked when we join a game. Um, you'll finish a match, X, then your game will freeze, so you lose all your XP. Um, and generally, the match searching as well has been very kind of like long as well, but it has gradually got a little bit better the last couple of days, it has. But it's still something that needs to be improved on massively. It does need to be improved on massively. Um, kind of like when, because they've had a new thing on called Headquarters. He the Headquarters is fantastic. I love that area. Adds no kind of d d 
a kind of like new kind of thing to the game. It's kind of refreshing, something new. Um, it definitely takes some time to get used to where things are on the get on the headquarters. Um, but if you look on the screen right now, you see um, the press the options button to go to headquarters. You can basically switch to out headquarters and um, go go. You can open supply drops while you're waiting in game. You can go maybe collect some contracts and all that stuff. Um, and it's kind of it's nice, but the same with that at the moment with server problems. That should be full of players in my lo from my lobby, um, but it's been absolutely dead. It's only myself and maybe some of my party members have been at the headquarters. Um, but obviously, um, Activision are aware of this problem and they are working on it. Um, actually, the time I've done this video, um, they have had the servers down for like nearly like since 6 a.m. UK time until like 3 p.m. as well UK time. So they've been down for a long, long, long time. Um, dudes just doing server maintenance. So they've done two server maintenances, um, which is kind of like, it's kind of like, what the, f what the, what the hell? But at the same time, you kind of like, they need to be done. They need to be done, obviously, to get the game back up to scratch. Um, but generally, um, this game has been absolutely fantastic. Um, the zombies, though, the zombies, um, has been, I've only, I've played, um, a couple of games. I've played a couple of games. Um, it's, for me, Zombies has not really been my biggest thing. I've always been multiplayer, multiplayer only. Then, probably say campaign, then Zombies, or maybe switch to campaign for Zombies, maybe. Um, but honestly, it's not been a massive, massive thing for me, Zombies, this year. Um, it's kind of, even like some streamers um, have kind of gone, yeah, it's good, but it's getting used to something different. It's more challenging, and you've got to get used to this new formula of Zombies, because it is different from like, the previous Zombies. Um, so there will be spoilers in this if you don't want to hear it. Uh, I will talk about it. Um, there's different type, kinds of, um, also you've got the four characters, you've got David Tennant being like one of them, um, and the, the voice acting is fantastic. The cutaways are fantastic for them. Um, but you go to like this uh, town is in somewhere um, and you're basically um, it's kind of like your classic zombies I wanted more of a survival based kind of thing but it's, it definitely is like an Easter egg kind of based kind of thing you have to do this you have to do that you have to do that to get get to go get going with the game and for me I'm like a world at war I like just having a mystery box a load of windows to board up open certain doors that's it. That's for me. That's like my kind of zombies. That's what I like. Um, and maybe their eyes kind of linking a few portals. That's about it. That's for me. That's that's enough. I, that's, I don't want to do any more than that. But zombies for me, for me is elevated into something It's kind of like I don't really particularly enjoy. It's kind of like, eh, whatever. I'm not really fussed by it. I don't, it doesn't not phase me one bit. But it's like somebody in my Twitch channel might come and go in. Oh my god, zombies is amazing. You should play it. It's like, no, I don't really want to play zombies. Um, but if you are a zombies, um, crazy a person about it. Uh, the cutscenes are amazing. The voice acting is fantastic. Um, I did love to play. I did choose David Tennant a lot. I love listening to David Tennant. He's absolutely fantastic to listen to. The, the way the zombies look, they have done a fantastic job on that. They look abs. They do look scary. Um, I definitely recommend if you are going to pick up zombies, um, put some headphones in. Sit in a dark room, have a screen really close to you, have a fun time. I really definitely suggest that. Um, definitely for the zombies. Um, but generally, um, there is more zombie kinds in this one. Also, you've got your basic zombies, but you've got one slightly improved. you kind of got one which... Um, the first one I discovered, um, it's kind of like... Um, if you ever played Batman Arkham Asylum, you got that crazy guy who likes to jump on your back and... He's like, he's like the mentalist with the knives sort of things, like, Rah! and runs at you. Um, if you've played that, then you know what I'm all about. Um, then he jumps on your back constantly. Um, they've got zombies like that. They've got zombies like that. And they're just like crazy, they're running at you sort of thing, like, like mentalists. And you're kind of like, okay, I'm just going to run now. And you try shooting them at, and they just don't die. They're like, Rah! running at you. Um, then they've got another kind of zombie. It's kind of like, um... A zombie which has got like a, a I don't it's like a bomb on its back so if you shoot the bomb then obviously all the zombies around that one particular zombie will die and explode and all that stuff um, but it's kind of like okay that's very strange um, so that zombie just particularly just went oh it was very weird I did find that one word but several of them there were in this one area uh, then you got another zombie which is kind of like another upgraded version it's kind of like 
He's like George, I described him uh, when I was playing it for the first time. Um, he's like George from the, I think it was Black Ops 1, Call of the Dead. Um, he's like, you're shooting at him, he just does, does, doesn't die. And he's just running after you constantly. So you're like, okay, this is good. And then there's another, zom another zombie, <laughs> which has like a big flamethrower chasing you around. It's kind of like, okay, this guy's unbeatable as well. So it's definitely about getting your armors, your upgrades, and getting the right guns to kill this thing. Imagine if you did more Easter egg based, um, you could kill some of them as well. Uh, it was like my, when I was playing with my friend, and the other day he was uh, he had this like certain gun which he did the challenges and all that stuff in the game, which obviously could kill that one. I think it was the um, big zombie with a rock flamethrower on his back so it was kind of like okay that's intriguing um so definitely by doing some of the challenges you obviously unlock the ability to do that but it's definitely more challenging it's definitely visually more appealing definitely do what i said headphones dark room like a couple literally a couple of feet away from your tv have fun with it honestly it looks but it does look really good um but for me for me for me for me um for some of the things um I, i've just kind of saved put to the side which my one of my favorite my favorite things of the game um and some of the downfalls of the game uh, which has kind of made me kind of not give it my total um overall score um it's definitely um no it is the, the um Divisions. Divisions is one of my favourite things of the game. Um, basically, is you, you don't have your custom class 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. You have divisions now. And basically, um, every character is a bit different. So, um, you've got one which is called um, Air Thing. I can't remember the name of it, but it's one of them um, is like more faster. Then you've got one which is made for a sniper. And resistance to like uh, uh, recon planes. And obviously hidden off the map all the time and you got different i love them i do i love each operator is basically um designed to say a sniper designed for a submachine gun i love that feature i really do it took me a bit of time to get used to but if you read the description little bits to each one it tells you um what it's about um and another thing which i really love is about the supply drops um you can get like say like you got your mp40 but there's a different kind of like like an epic you can get um of like an mp40 and they change the model of the gun a little bit and you make and you can get like little rewards so you can get you can get say an extra weapon bonus xp for that particular kind of um gun that you're using so really do like that as well really really do uh and the basic um, training armbands as well. You get different armbands um, as well, uh, which I really do love. Which is um, like one for me I use all the time. Um, it's a green one. Um, and basically when you die, your score streak continues on. It continues on, it does. Your score streak doesn't reset. Um, it continues on when you, even when you die. I love that one. It's really, really good. Um, and generally, a war as well is my personal favourite also thing, which is really good as well. Um, and some, some of the daily challenges you get, some of the weekly challenges you get, all that kind of stuff is really good about the multiplayer. This is some of the stuff I kind of kept, kept to the side. Um, and then some of the downfalls for the game. Only thing I have to criticise is is about the lack of maps the lack of maps um obviously the, 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 there's it feels like when you're playing it a lot you're only playing about six or to, to seven maps uh but in total there is um nine um nine maps i believe there is and uh, three of them are and there's another three which are for war uh, the war maps are very good um the layouts are very nice they kind of do have that element of kind of like rush to it um if you played like battlefield uh, before it's really, really kind of good because you have like objective to do here but you move on you move on you're basically pushing your the enemy team back or you're defending something the um the attacking team coming towards you it's really good i do like that mode um and then maps are very done well the layouts are fantastic um but the maps uh the maps are not being absolutely fantastic i will say the maps kind of just kind of like it's kind of um don't know it's kind of a bit okay the maps are this year no outstanding maps for me and uh, multiplayer wise but they're they're playable that's the thing they're playable um my particular one i'd say if i had to give a favorite one london um docks is fantastic absolutely love that map um but it's not been an outstanding map for me this year um at the moment so it's made me kind of go i'm definitely going to get the season pass i think i am because um i would like to have more maps um but it's kind of like the maps um obviously where some of them are more over to they've kind of had to make a little cut in the middle for 
these ones are only made for war, and these ones are made for just like team deathmatch, domination, and that. Um, so you don't get much variety. So it, you might say the maps can get a little bit kind of repetitive, sort of thing sometimes, but you you don't really care because you you enjoy the, the gameplay and all that stuff. So you kind of go uh, visually. Um, you get, sometimes you might get it's kind of the same with anything you know if you get i get sick of these same four walls but i enjoy what's in it that's the thing i think that's what it is um best way to describe it i enjoy what's in it and not around it sort of thing sometimes um uh, with it um but that basically includes up my summary to be honest of call of duty um all or anything i have to say this call of duty has definitely has um doubled um the sales of last year on infinite warfare um and so to all the infinite warfare lovers um who are slating um the call of duty um world war ii and um, are saying this game's terrible um so yeah you might want to rethink that again uh, but my total review um of this game is definitely i have three ranking systems now um i have um don't waste your time don't waste your time Wait for sale or a must buy. And out of all of them, I'm definitely going to say if you take away the server problems at the moment, they are getting worked on um, as we speak. It's a must buy. It is a must buy. Definitely, you got to get this game this year. Um, if you do, don't do get this game, you are missing out. The multiplayer is honestly the most funnest bit of this game. Um, the campaign, um, obviously, I said I was going to touch on, uh, which I'm just going to do now, is I've only heard positive stuff about it. Um, it's about roughly five to six hours, I've heard roughly. But what I've seen of it, I haven't really seen a lot of it. But the cutscenes look absolutely incredible. Um, and just, just only heard fans good stuff about it. So definitely recommend picking up this game. It's a must buy just for the multiplayer alone and what I've played a bit of the zombies and but mainly dominated by the multiplayer honestly it's, a, it's possibly one of my top in my top three games this year so far so definitely go and pick it up um so thank you very much for watching today um hopefully you did enjoy this little review me discussing my thoughts of the game and all that stuff um if you do want to see i might do a campaign review at some point uh, again anyway uh, i just wanted to pop out this review because obviously I was a bit, i'm a bit late pumping it up um then I wanted to, um, I wanted to kind of get um, all the campaign, multiplayer and more zombies done. But I was a little bit late, obviously it's Tuesday now. Um, so I was kind of like, okay, I'll get this done. Then I would, might do a campaign one another time. But for me, I always get Call of Duty for the multiplayer side of it. But it's definitely a must buy. Definitely go pick it up uh, when you can. Um, because it's definitely Call of Duty, you may say, is back.